Hey everybody, and welcome to this special Comic Boxer unboxing episode where we take a look at what was in the Comic Boxer mystery box uh, that we sent out this month and that was filled with uh, some selections from March 2015. Comic Boxer, for those of you unaware, is our monthly mystery box subscription service. Uh, you can get all the info on that over at comicboxer.com. Uh, prices start as low as $17.99 per month. Uh, that's in US dollars, and it's uh, literally nothing for what you get inside. I mean, it's, true. It's, it's pennies, pennies on the dollar, to be honest. You can pick these up at our store at Stadium Comics, or you can have them shipped right to your door. So there's lots of uh, awesome options for you. Uh, Ricky, March was an awesome month for Comic mm -hmm. Box here. There's a lot of great books, uh, you know, in this uh, little white package. Uh, so let's get into it and, and uh, take you through what we picked and why. So the first comic we had uh, included this month was Convergence issue number zero. Uh, there was uh, two alter alternating covers that we included in Comic Boxer. Um, this is the launch issue for the Convergence event, uh, which is going to dictate the next two months for DC Comics uh, Universe and it all kind of starts right here. This is a Superman-centric story. We've got appearances from Supermen all across the different alternate universes of DC Comics. And a very interesting take on Brainiac. Uh, so we thought that this would be an awesome one to include in this month's Comic Boxer. Next up we had uh, what one of Image's smash hit books for the month. And that was Descender issue number one by Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen. Ricky... Your thoughts on Descender number one? Uh, it was really good. It reminded me of like Mass Effect, the game, because there's like so many races and worlds, and it was really cool. Yeah, uh, really, really awesome. And the and, and Dustin Wynn's watercolor art, so uh, just it's it's so amazing to see. Uh, you know, you usually see him on books like Little Gotham, yeah, uh, and, and stuff like that, and to see it uh, kind of transposed into like a futuristic sci-fi type universe was really Too cool. The exciting thing about Descender, it was, it's already been optioned for a movie. So it's in development right now. Uh, that's driven prices on the book up. Uh, you're looking at about an average of $10 online right now for that uh, first issue. And it's sold out everywhere and they're moving on to uh, uh, second and third printings on it. Next up, another book where there was a movie deal for. And it was no surprise as it's Mark Millar's Chrononauts. Number one, nice. uh, illustrated, of course, uh, by the brilliant Sean Murphy, um, and this is this is a month for uh, you know this comic box is filled with all kinds of awesome artwork. Uh, Sean Murphy's art, uh, you know, Punk Rock Jesus, Joe the Barbarian, mm -hmm. um, so talented, so yeah, talented. Which cover did you send people? We sent people the Sean Murphy cover, which was cover yes. A, and it uh, turns out that was a good choice because that cover is worth. Uh, anywhere from we're seeing it sales for you know between fifteen and thirty dollars. Yeah, it's for got that cover. That, it's got that special uh, thing in the corner. Do you hear about that? Yeah, the optical illusion yeah, thing. I couldn't see it. Yeah, I. Uh, it's like <laughs> seeing a sailboat in Mallrats. I just, or, yeah. I just can't see it. Or that damn dress. Yeah. Oh my god, that annoying dress. So the the cool thing is that uh, this book, you know, besides having that that unexpected optical illusion thing on the cover, it's also been uh, optioned by Universal and it's in development for a movie. Uh, so that sent prices on it skyrocketing as well. Awesome to see that we're adding a little value to people's comic boxer shipments. Mm -hmm. Next up, we had Spider Woman issue number five, and this this one's already sold out across the board too and it's moving on to a second printing and this issue is important why Ricky because they're new costumes that's right the uh, over sexualization of spider-woman has been toned down a bit and uh, she's been given a kind of Batgirl-esque makeover <laughs> with yeah. a more with a more functional and uh, hip and up-to-date costume and with a motorcycle that's hip and a motorcycle yeah. If, yeah I mean if you don't have a motorcycle and you're a comic you? book character you really shouldn't be in comics that's like true. come on uh, but a lot of people really digging the new look and direction of Spider-Woman and it kind of all starts here with issue number five. The next book that we included in Comic Box or we kind of threw in as an extra comic this month, uh, it was by Cullen Bunn and it's called Hellbreak issue number one. It was only one dollar at your local comic shop. Awesome, awesome idea. Put out your first issue for a dollar. Get them hooked in, Ricky. Get them addicted yeah, to what, like, you, what you're putting in like there. Crack. 
and then you just gotta like spend a thousand dollars on the next issue. <laughs> yeah, and I mean Colin Bunn's wicked, right? He's doing Magneto right now. And I know that's Lobo. one of your favorite books. Yeah, it's so good. Um, so this story is all about a company that uh, will go into hell and extract lost souls and bring them back. And uh, nice. very cool concept. Uh, and I can't wait for all of you out there to read it once you get it in your comic box or shipment. And finally, we had Princess Leia issue number one, but we didn't include just any Princess Leia cover. We've got the action figure variant. Action figure variants for the Star Wars books have been super hot. This one's selling online for up to $10 right now, um, and it's based on the old Kenner action figures, uh, which were the original Star Wars toy line. Um, so Princess Leia number one. It's a five issue series that ties into the other two Star Wars books. So if you're picking up Star Wars, you're picking up Darth Vader, you should definitely be picking up Princess Leia as well. And uh, this action figure variant will look good in anybody's collection. Um, so that's it. That was March's comic box for shipment. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun picking the books. It's going to be even more fun for you guys to receive, open, and read the books, I'm sure. Uh, and April, man, we got a lot of cool things planned for April. Ricky, prediction as to uh, what book will be involved in April? Mm. Black Hole Hunter. <laughs> yeah, Kaiju Max. Kaiju Max, maybe, maybe. We'll have to see. Uh -huh. have to see what's going on with that. Again, ComicBoxer.com is where you want to go to sign up and be a part of this awesome club. And more awesome people are are signing up each and every day. Um, we have limited spots available for April, so please, uh, if you're kind of on the fence, uh, I know that there's a, a few books this month that are going to be really cool. Uh, so head on over there now to comicboxer.com and start your subscription today. Thanks, everybody. We'll have another one of these videos next month, so stay tuned for more Comic Boxer unboxings. <laughs> <laughs>